Welcome to this edition. Today we're going to look at the step up, one of the most fundamental movement patterns for the lower extremity. The challenge with step ups is that most clients have poor loading phase on their lower extremity. They have an inability to stabilize their pelvis and their hip during that phase of moving from two legs into single leg stance. This is one of the leading causes of knee pain, hip pain, back pain in a lot of our clients. And in a lot of us as trainers, we cue that into our clients by giving them exercises that are at a too high of a level. So I'm gonna show you what happens with a lot of clients with a step up, especially in the gym, and how this directly leads to dysfunction of the hip, knee, and the lower back. In the second video, the next video, we're gonna look at how to improve this pattern, how to cue it, and how to get proper responses from the lower extremity during the step up. Okay? So we're gonna use the step here. This is a very common hike for a lot of our our clients to use. The problem is most of our clients don't have enough hip range of motion to use a step that high. So I'm going to have Melissa put her left leg up there. And if most moves are out of the way, you'll see already Melissa is in a poor position. She has to go into a posterior rotation. She's got lumbar spine flexion and rotation because she does not have enough hip range of motion to get her, her pelvis back to a more neutral position. So now I'm going to let Melissa just step up and see what she does without me cueing her or giving her any, any, any kind of cues. And back down. And go one more time. And from the side, she doesn't look too bad. So let's turn Melissa around so you can see what's really happening from the back. So Melissa, can you face that hole, please? Same leg. So again, you see when Melissa goes into this pattern, she goes into posterior rotation, lumbar spine, spine flexion, and rotation. Go ahead, step up, Melissa. And you see what happens there, come back down. You see that unleveling of her pelvis. Do that one more time. And she doesn't get level until she's all the way to the top. Come back down. You see that unleveling there of her pelvis. One more time, I'll, I'll keep my hands on her pelvis. And she really has to start leaning forward and compensating. And if you also look one more time, Melissa, and then look at the loading that happens to her knee. She, she drives it into internal rotation and adduction, the very position that creates a lot of knee pain for our clients. So the one thing we have to do with Melissa is we'll teach her how to control this position and get her on a lower step because this step is too high for her available range of motion and the stability of her pelvis and hip. Again, the clients like to use a high step because they feel it more in their glutes, but this will directly lead to the dysfunction, like I said, in their knee, their pelvis, and their low back. And they'll think they're doing something good because they'll feel it in their glutes. In the next edition, we'll show you how to correct this pattern, make it more user-friendly, and make it so it improves function of the knee, hip, low back. This is Dr. Hibidoso with Fitness Insider, showing you how and why the step up can be a very detrimental exercise for our client's body. Thanks so much, see you next time.